What's up guys and welcome again to the complete Kotlin developer course. In this video, we are going to talk about the type convergence. So sometimes you will have data in one format and need to convert it to another. So the new way to attempt this, it would be like so. So var x of type int equal to seven. And I create, I will create a new variable called y of type double equal to 3.14. Okay. Now, x equal to y, this will give you an error because type mismatch required end and found double. I am assigning x equal to y and y is double and x is int. So I am putting a double inside int. This is, it will give, this will give an error. Okay. If I put y equal to x, this will not give an error because double is, I am putting a double here. And inside this double uh, box, I am putting an integer. An integer is smaller than double and it is contained in double. So in this uh, case, it will be accepted, okay? So instead of simply assigning, you need to explicitly say that you want to convert the type. You would do like this. Integer, when you need to put when you need to convert the type, converting the type, integer, you use this formula, integer equal decimal dot to int method. Okay, we will learn about method later on. But till now, if you need to make a casting, you need to uh, to like type conversion, it would be Sometimes it is useful to check you the inferred type of the variable of a constant so uh, and convert it. So we will create x, which is an integer, equal y dot to int. So we use this method. Okay. I will comment this. Let's run and see. I will print it out, x, print, x. And here we go, guys. We have eliminated the decimal part from the double that we have it in our y variable. So we convert the double into int. So no problem between converting from double uh, to uh, from int to double and from int to double like we have seen in y equal to x and uh, but there is a problem while converting uh, from uh, an double to integer okay so double cannot be contained in integer except if we use y dot to int method We'll learn about this writings later on, but till now, just understand the relation between the primitive data and data types. And we are going to, to see later on the methods and other things. Just one another important uh, note in Kotlin that sometimes it's useful to check the inferred type of the variable or constant. So if I create like uh, 100 uh, or 1000 line of codes. And despite uh, uh, searching for the type of X, I can put here, I will buy, you can do it in IntelliJ by clicking on the variable or the constant name and holding down the control shift P, shift P. Okay. You can see how you can make and you uh, the inferred type is integer so you get a message telling us that x is a uh, integer okay this can be do by, uh, done by control shift and p 
you see the expression and you get the integer, the data type.